You've heard me on several occasions talk about uh, Agers HVAC. I've got uh, Brian Agers has swung by the studio here so we can spend a couple minutes together. Uh, Brian, how are you? Good, Mark. How are you doing? I'm doing fine. Gl- glad to have you in here. Um, y- you and I have talked about this before, and I-, I talk about it when I when I do spots for you here on the show. Mm-hmm. How do you determine who you're going to get to come out and service, well, anything at your house. For that matter, your air conditioner, your furnace, your your you know your garage door. How do you find those people? And I, I, I tell people, you know, write down your website, callagers.com, so they know what it is later. Mm-hmm. But a lot of people go to places like Angie's List and other places like that. What, yeah. What's your take on those, those kinds of uh, clearing houses, so to speak? Well, I think... Uh... And I'll be real blunt here and probably draw some fire from some folks, but... I do that every day. Go ahead. Quite fr- quite frankly, I think it's, uh, it's a way to fleece consumers. Um, you see advertisements for Service Magic. Well, now Service Magic doesn't exist because they changed the name to Home Advisor. Okay. But a couple of months ago, give or take, Angie's List bought Home Advisor. So now all these companies are starting to merge into one. You've got uh, Google that is getting ready to start... Um, Google Home Services. They've already started it on the uh, coast in California, and it's coming to St. Louis, uh, or at least the Midwest, uh, probably within the next month or so. And, you know, it's a it's a feel-good measure when you see a commercial on TV or you hear a commercial on radio that you can call this number and they have trusted contractors that they can give you uh, a referral to. But what consumers don't realize is that it's a big numbers game, and that just adds to the overhead and the cost of doing business with whomever it is that they choose. Yeah, I guess I've always wondered how you you get on one of those uh, those lists. I know when I was in financial services for a while, you could you could pay a fee and be listed as a preferred provider or whatever for such and such company. Sure. Um, in the hopes that if somebody reached out to them, they you might get a referral from it. Well, the, the but way there was that a you, cost there, sure. right? Yeah. And the way that you're preferred is by basically saying, hey, I'm willing to give you as much money as I can <laughs> to be as preferred as I can. Sure. So, um, you know, companies that do this type of advertising aren't vetting people. And, and Google is, is saying that they're going to set themselves apart and that they're going to uh, do background checks on every person that works for the company and so on and so forth. But at the end of the day, they still want your money. And the way this works is if you call, leads cost different amounts. So if, okay. if somebody calls and says, hey, I'm looking for somebody to clean my furnace or clean my air conditioner, it may be $12. If somebody calls and says, hey, I'm looking for somebody to replace my furnace and air conditioner, then it's $40. And basically what you do as a, as a business owner is you set daily limits on how much money that you're willing to spend for these oh, leads. Oh, yeah, yeah. But the bummer is not only are you not vetted, and it doesn't matter who it is as long as they've got the cash to pay for this referral service, but they don't just send it to Brian at Agers. They send it to three contractors. And among those three then they have to fight, essentially, for, for the business. Who gets the job, yeah. So statistically, you might be getting five leads that you've paid for before one turns into an actual customer. Well, at $12 times five, yeah. now you've spent yeah. $60 to gain that one customer. And in order for a business to be able to continue to do that, that Sorry, slob that called the one guy that called to use your service is going to pay the sixty dollars. Sure, he is in overhead because you have to cover the overhead that the business is is being charged. Hmm. So See, that's I.O. I think most people don't even realize that they there's, they. there's no doubt. Yeah, they I, they I think that they're the getting time. a they think they're getting a a good reference from somebody who's been vetted. Then yeah. you find out it's got more to do with who's willing it's to pay the most. It's about money, and yeah. uh, it, you know, and and and. One of the things that's, I, it, I, I would say funny, it's not funny, it's it's sad, but let's say that your limit as a, let's say I set a limit of $50. Well, they set up special phone numbers that consumers are given to call. Well, once you hit your $50 for the day, if somebody, let's say somebody says, Calls. hey, I've called this this company and puts it out there on Facebook and gives that number, the number rings, somebody answers it and says, Oh, this company that you're trying to reach is—they're uh, too busy now. You're they're, kidding me. Yeah, they're too busy. They can't get to you. 
So once you run out of your daily money, it parties over, and then this service will lie to consumers and tell them, nope, they're too busy. They, you know, there's no room for you on their schedule. Call somebody else right. because you haven't paid them enough money. Wow. So there's really no honor in it. It's about how much money does a business have, how much risk do they want to take, and well, do they trust the company like the aforementioned to be honest and actually give you qualified leads or not? Well, I appreciate your honesty on that because I think most people probably don't realize that goes on. I'm talking to Brian Agers from Agers HVAC. I'm proud that he uh, sponsors the show here and helps put a free conservative talk radio on the air and keep us on the air. Um, I've talked about this before. I know you guys do your service program where you give people uh, furnace checks and air conditioner checks mm -hmm. t t twice a year. What's the number one? Is there a number one problem you see with furnaces when you go out this time of year? A lot of times it's just that they haven't been cleaned and maintained like the filter well, not the changing filters, the filter f filters are certainly an issue you know depending upon who you listen to there's all kinds of ideas on when you should change it really it comes down to how clean is your house right if you have no pets and you're 80 years old and you never leave and the door never <laughs> opens it's going to be totally different than if you've got seven kids and three dogs and you're in and out like a revolving door so um we see a lot of flame sensors inside the furnaces that get corroded or they get dirty and that will keep a furnace from firing. So, right. but I mean, it's 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 all little maintenance issues that really typically don't amount to a whole lot of hysteria. It's just, hey, this needs to be cleaned. It needs to be vacuumed out. It needs to be checked over. And that's typically what we find. And, and occasionally, we'll find a part that is in the process of failing, and we can let the homeowner know, hey, it's working now. But and many times, because we've got so many customers that have purchased equipment within the last 10 years, it's still under warranty. Right. So that's an even better deal for the consumer because then they're not having to pay for the part. We can just swap the part so, out. So so I, I read this as part of uh, my ads for you, but uh, you've put in there before that you, you're selling units now that are so efficient, it can reduce gas bills by 40%. In is some that, cases, that is the truth. Uh, I mean, obviously, not if you've every got case. A, a super old furnace, then yes, that's more than likely going to be the case. And and now with variable capacity air conditioning, not only can you have very uh, precise humidity control and temperature control, but you can have a compressor that uses half of the electricity. I had a customer that I installed equipment for in June who had solar on his house, and even with solar, had a $300 a month electric bill for air conditioning. So he told me that his the two electric bills that followed our installation were 81 and 88, <laughs> down wow. from 300. And and I hate to say that on one hand because I don't want people listening to think, oh, well, I'm going to save. I can drop them I, yeah, I'm gonna 220 save. bucks right. a month off yeah, my I'm bill. Save because yeah. if your bill is no. only 130 and 50 of it is your lights and your dishwasher and clothes washer, yeah. it's not going to save you anything on that. But you know, whatever the portion is that you use extra in summer use, you can save up to 50 percent now on energy costs. Good deal. Well, uh, Brian, thanks so much for coming by. Uh, again, it's Agers HVAC. I say it all the time in the ad. It's A-G-E-R-S. Go That's to correct. callagers.com. You can find out more about it, and you're even willing to give folks a discount because they listen to 97.1, right? Absolutely. Good. Glad to hear it. Thanks, buddy. Thank you. Appreciate it. 314-969-9797-866-455-9797. More of your phone calls, and we're going to talk about these young Turks and the, the lies they're spreading about St. Louis when we come back. This is the Mark Cox Show. Air Comfort Service Heating and Cooling. Weather with Dave Murray. For today, mostly cloudy skies and humid, but nothing more than a little spotty rain from time to time. 80 degrees for the high. Tonight, clouds and other batch of showers moving in as we get into the nighttime hours. 65 for the low. Friday, mostly cloudy and humid. Some more showers around on Friday. 78, improving weather over the weekend. We're going to have a fair amount of dry time Saturday and Sunday. I'm Fox 2 meteorologist Dave Murray.